Hi, everybody. Welcome to the How to Podcast series. My name is Scarlett. I am Dave's co-host today. <laughs> See, everyone? <laughs> Scarlett's here, and I'm so happy. This is great, right? Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, the crowd goes nuts. All right. Sweet. Scarlett, thank you for saying yes to starting off the show. Welcome to the How to Podcast series. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like I just saw you, like, moments ago in our meetup group, and now here you are, right? Yeah. Yeah, Dump. the stars finally align because we had to reschedule this one a couple of times, but we're finally doing it. <laughs> well, when when I want time with a famous Scarlet Classic, I know I have to stand oh, in line. I know I have to stand in line. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, no. Very long line. <laughs> very long line for the Classic Advice Podcast. And uh, yeah, I, I'm enjoying your show. Well done on everything. Congratulations. For those who haven't heard your show yet, Scarlet, plug, plug, plug. Tell everybody about your podcast. Yeah, so my podcast is called Classic Advice. My husband came up with the the name of the show because our last name is Classic, and I was playing with a bunch of different things, and he's like, "Just do Classic Advice. That's good enough." I was like, "What?" <laughs> so yeah, it's all it's all about just my learned life experience advice that I like to pass on to the next person, and and life is hard, and. I, I went through my divorce um, practically alone. A lot a lot of things I did alone because I didn't want to be a burden to anybody. And so I never really shared what was going on with me on that side of things. And that's just not the right way to do it. Mm. <laughs> it's just, a, yeah, you got to have your community. You got to have your friends and people to lean on. And so I want to I wanna be that for that, for, for other people. Yeah. And so. you've had great, great guest co-hosts on. Some guy named Dave was on. Probably not the best episode. That guy was a little weird. Oh, come on. Um, maybe, I'm trying to convince my wife, Jennifer, to go on your show. And when she hears this, she's going to roll her eyes like, Dave, we talked Jen. about you talking about me on podcasts. We talked about this. Uh, but I think she'd be a great guest because she's, she's so funny and unique and special and all that great stuff. So I, th I think she'd be a great guest for you. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it to get Jen on your show. Oh, Jen, yes. You're, I know you're listening. So I, I really want you on my show. I would love to have you on my show because it just, it would be, it would be perfect. It would be so perfect. I have one I rule, it, so. though, if you're going to talk to my wife, that you cannot talk about me because there's no, no because way. Because we're talking about Jen right now, so we can't talk no, about Dave. Yeah, well, see, that's, <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't know right now that I'm talking about her. <laughs> she will know. Um, but I'm just putting that out there because I'm a, I don't know what she's going to say. She's going to tell you the truth about me, Scarlett, and I'm afraid of the truth, Scarlett. <laughs> this is what it's coming down to, so yeah. <laughs> oh yeah no we all we all have our flaws okay we all have our flaws. Right. it's all good yeah. <laughs> um yeah so okay i gotta go back in time how how did we connect originally can do you remember like our first interaction yep. what happened I, I sure do so well i quote unquote met you before you even knew anything because i found your show first okay so i was i was actually listening to another podcast <gasps> and it's a it's a couple and they're just having so much fun on it and I was like you know what like I think I would enjoy doing it I love talking so there you go <laughs> I never run out of things to say um and I just googled in my little I listen on Spotify and I went in the search bar and I clicked in how to podcast your show came up I went right back to the beginning I started listening right from episode one by episode 60 I had released my first episode and I think I'm on, I don't know, I jump around all the time because I listen to your current ones and then I'll go back in the past and listen to some of those. So I, I really couldn't tell you where I am now, but that's that's kind of how I first got introduced, I guess you could say to you is through your podcast. And then I released my first episode and I was like, how can I not tell Dave and Tamsin because she was like right. my favorite co-host. right. Tamsin, hi. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hi Tamsin. And... Uh, yeah, I emailed you thinking, oh, like, he's he's not going to have time to reply to me. Like, I didn't really expect you to f reply back. And then you did. And then that's how we kind of got introduced, nice. so to speak. But, yeah. Okay. So the lesson there for everyone listening and for all podcasters is if, when somebody does find you, then ask them the question, how did you find me? Because whatever that answer is, I want to do more of that. And the mm -hmm. fact that you found me through Spotify, notoriously Spotify's search is not the best to find new podcasts. It's not like, 
YouTube is amazing. It's like built for search, but Spotify is not as robust in search. So the fact that you found me there is awesome. I've had people find me on Apple, which is also not easy to find podcasts through the search feature. So I'm happy. And I guess because I picked a very simple name, it makes it a little easier. I didn't call it the Dave show or something. It's like, who, what, yeah. what is that? <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Like even, even Mel Robbins, like I heard of Mel Robbins through you. Mm. And now I'm like, I, I'm one of her like biggest fans. <laughs> there you go. But I didn't know, like, I think she has a talk show or something. So maybe a lot of people know who she is, but yeah, she's really good. So there's a plug for you, Mel Robbins. There you go. Yeah, she is. <laughs> yeah, go listen to her. So good. So good. Yeah. I guess it, that's the thing. What, okay, so what, as you started your podcast, um, learning how to do, do all this, was it really difficult in the beginning to hit record the first time and kind of work your way through it? Oh, yes. And I actually really struggled with imposter syndrome because... I just, I don't have a PhD. Who would want to listen to me? Ah, mm. Like I hummed and hawed about it for a long time. And then I also really was humming and hawing because I'm a type A personality. So I'm always busy doing something. And then I get overwhelmed or I... I go through burnout because I just get, I have, I put too much on my plate and so it's my own fault. So I really didn't want to start something if I wasn't going to follow it through. So I hummed and hawed. I thought about the practical, like how and when am I going to record? How am I going to do this? And my, my husband Roy is awesome. He's so supportive, but he's like, no, I think, I think you should do it. Like, just give it a shot. And if, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But I think you should try. And, and I, I did all the things. I got my Spotify, whatever, all set up. I recorded my first episode and edited it and all that fun stuff. And then I couldn't hit the, I couldn't hit the button. <laughs> Which I know we talked about in the other episode we did for your show. I couldn't hit the button because I just was like, this is too nerve-wracking. My show is a lot about, a lot, well, a lot of personal stuff. So I'm putting, and I'm a very private person. So it's like, I I don't, like, I'm putting my heart and soul out there for basically the world to just look at. (laughs) And that was nerve wracking for me. But I thought I, there's some, there's, there's a deeper reason that I wanted to do it, to be there for other people. And I thought, no, when I stopped looking at myself and I started thinking about the person I was going to talk to then it all the nerves just went away because I wasn't thinking about myself anymore. I was thinking about who I was talking to and who might benefit from me, you know, getting over myself, so to speak, and just pushing the button. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and and now I'm in 10 different countries. Come on, I heard you do that on your podcast. You're calling them all out. That was so cool to hear. And I was calling... Yeah, and 10 different, I have it written down here, 10 different states, four different provinces, and then a couple of different provinces, I don't know if they're provinces or cities, and in different countries like Serbia and India, and it's like, wow. Right. And there's there's eight people that follow me, and every single episode, they listen to. Mm-hmm. And it's just, my goal was just one. So it just, when I open up my little analytic app and i see that it's just like oh, it blows me away every time like eight eight people every time like my goal was just one yeah. <laughs> so i i'm glad that i did it i'm glad that i got got over the fear so to speak and just just did it so the you saying my goal was just one and i'm happy with eight is like the opposite of what we hear in Facebook groups and online and you got to be super successful and you got to have this many listens and you're not successful unless you're making this much money with your show. That doesn't sound like Scarlet Classic to me. Like why <laughs> uh, we talk, I'm, I already kind of know the answer to this, but why is one your number as far as your target? Because I myself would have been grateful for just one good friend when I was going through my oh, stuff. Oh, I love how you said that. My heart! Okay. Yeah, <laughs> go, go, go. Keep going. 
Yeah, well, and I, it's it's always been my goal in life to just be there for people, and I I, I was raised in a Christian Protest, Protestant Christian home, and a lot of a lot of that faith is based on just loving people where they're at, just just being there for people, and I I ended up. Uh, going into missions for I, I lived over abroad for uh, five years. I lived over in Romania. We did a, a missions trip down to Guatemala when I was fifteen for two weeks. I was in Spain with a group of youth for two months, and it was for a course um, on culture shock. And so, m- me and my ex husband were there in Spain with these youth just to be uh, a chaperone basically um but that was just at and then and then i i came over to to canada and i kind of wanted to get out of missions because i felt like well our, our marriage was suffering and 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 i was starting to miss home so we made the decision to come to canada and then we ended up um getting divorced shortly after that but um it 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 was a struggle when when I went through that for sure, but I was happy that I was home and not abroad when that happened because yeah. that would have been I don't I don't even know how I would have got through that. Mm, <laughs> but um, after I healed and then I got together with my now husband Roy, and and life is kind of this cycle of ups and downs and. Even now, you know, you deal. I deal with things that, like we all do, and and struggles and and whatnot. But having Roy there for me when I was going through some a, a couple of things that were even bigger than my divorce, emotionally wise, and he helped me through it. And then I I went to um, counseling, like I did the psychologist, like psychiatrist thing, and I. I healed from that and I started to miss mission work you know not necessarily talking about the Bible and all of that um, like re- religion quote unquote yeah. s- stuff but just being because that's all the missions is it's just being there for people right. and, and I started to miss it and since I started this podcast I've I found my, I don't know if you want to label it a calling or my niche or niche, but I found my purpose. Good. This this is my purpose, and I, I'm so grateful to for it that I've I found it, and I feel I feel so fulfilled now that I can do this and be there for people, and in turn they're here for me week after week, week after yeah. week. When we have, we just had a meetup group today, and everybody in that group is so amazing. They just want to, they they come to give, not to get. Yeah. And it's it's just so amazing that I I I don't I don't even have words for it, which is <laughs> it's rare for me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So okay, so a look into the future. Just you kind of stole my thunder a little bit. April's <laughs> April's question, or sorry, August, April, August's question of the month is going to be because of a podcast blank. So because mm-hmm. of your podcast or because of someone else's podcast, fill in the blank and you get to tell your story about why a podcast has helped you or whatever. So that's what we're going to be doing in August, just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I would love you okay. to answer that question in August. Okay. Yeah. Um, so keep that in mind because your story is awesome. And uh, I love that you're turning your podcast into your mission in life and that you can do this mm-hmm. from the from the simplicity and safety of your home and you don't need all kinds of expensive tech and you don't have to do it in a studio mm-hmm. or travel yeah. into town to go to a place to do this. You can do this right where you are, sitting in the backyard, the dogs playing in the backyard and the, the, the kids <laughs> playing. You can talk to the world, right? Yeah, and that's that is so powerful that you have that opportunity for somebody to press play on your podcast 
on the other side of the planet? Like how how intimi- yeah. how intimidating in a sense to know that you have that reach, but how powering empowering that is to know that someone's finding value in your voice and your thoughts and all of those struggles you had at the beginning, like who cares? What I have to say, uh, yeah, <laughs> I can tell you people care because they're listening. So that's got to be like so reaffirming for you that you're on the right path. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? yeah, I think it, it it really it really is. And I don't I don't even struggle with like the imposter syndrome anymore. Mm-hmm. It just it doesn't exist. I did an episode. Uh, I think it was episode four. I talked about loneliness. <laughs> well. <clears throat> That's just it, it. Like I, I told my listeners this. I said, "You guys have blown my loneliness out of the right. water. It's not even a thing anymore because I have you guys." So, because of a podcast, I'm not dealing so with loneliness. I'm not dealing with imposter syndrome. I'm not. You're getting yeah. better. <laughs> Whether you have one listener, eight or ten thousand, you as a person are getting better. Right? You're growing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's growth for you. Yeah, and that's that's the whole like little. I don't know, blurt uh, um, below my podcast name under that is becoming a better you and giving hope. And it's been making me become a better me because it's actually making me think about all of the things that I talk about. Yeah. More self-awareness, I guess. Jen likes that I'm a podcaster because A, by the time she gets home from work, I've talked myself out and I need a break. (laughs) So it's nice nice and quiet around here. Dave's really quiet in the corner. And B, (laughs) when she talks, I listen because I've learned how to listen actively and not be like Mm -hmm. redirecting her thoughts or interrupting her mid-sentence because podcast is teaching me just to, to Dave. In, in, in nice terms, shut up, Dave, and listen, right? <laughs> Just let my guest talk. And I'm finding that it's helping me to be a little less thinking to respond, but listening to listen, right? So I'm yeah. I'm learning more on how to be a better person just by being the host of a podcast and bringing people like you on and then just sitting back and just letting you go. So that's yeah. that it's it takes a little bit of practice. Because you want to be like, uh huh, yeah, oh, and, hmm, okay, sure, yeah, me too, I like that. No, you don't need to do that. Just be quiet and let people do their thing. It's it's great. And the one thing I like to do as well, I, I prob- I'm not going to do this on purpose to you, but when somebody answers a question, <laughs> is to kind of just wait like a millisecond before I say anything, even though they're done talking, because then they go. So that's you know that's kind of why I think about this because it's really important to me and they keep talking and I'm like mm, if I if I had stepped in there it kind of unfolds the temp the, the opportunity for them to say just a little bit more than if I cut them off right so I'm a little more hesitant to jump in and when I feel a silence coming I can always take the silence out later in the edit if I have to but I'm just giving you space to talk and be you so I'm really trying to do that as a host it's making me better too so yeah, and that's that's um, like listening to reply is it's how all of us like that's just what your brain does. So yeah, to learn to listen, just to listen, it does take practice. <laughs> right. Um, what, are you picking up on any of your your go to words? I have some go to words, and I oh god, I'm starting to get annoyed by my go to words. <laughs> And because now I'm hearing them all the time. Like, that's awesome. I love it. I do that all the time. I love it. I love it. I love it. Dave, you love everything. I love it. I love it. I can hear it in my edits now, and it makes me giggle a little that I say these way too much. Have you discovered by listening to your own show or hearing stuff that you are like, I didn't realize I said that a lot? Actually, yes. But before we go into that, I... um. I actually love it when you say love it because it makes me giggle because you say it a lot and it's like, ah, Dave loves it. I love it. I love it. I love it. See, I do it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, actually, this is in reply to your question of the oh, month. So okay. I'm going to plug okay. this in Okay, right here. everyone, pay attention. This is happening in the moment. I'm so excited. Okay, go. <laughs> so your question of the month for the July was, do you listen to your own po- podcast and and why? I think maybe you said why. I'm not sure you did, but I'm going to answer the why. Um, 
so yes, I do listen to you, to my own podcast. And be, my, my reason is because when I edit, I'm listening with an editor ear, not a podcast listener ear, which I listen to many, many different podcasts. So by listening, by going back into Spotify and re-listening to my own show, I get to hear that, oh, I actually needed to turn my mic volume up because... Well, I'm I'm half deaf, so I always have to have it cranked up really high. But then my husband was like, "Hey, your show is quieter than everybody else's. Like, maybe you need to up your." And then I listened back, and yeah, I I do. So I went into my settings, I up my my mic intake input or whatever that's called volume. And the other thing that those those go to words, I catch. When I listen with a listener ear, not an editor ear. So yeah, so, so, right. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> that's just my, oh, it's like I start every sentence with so, and then I try to like edit it out, but sometimes it's a kind of attached to another word and to my sentence. So if I snip it out, then it sounds, you can really tell that I've edited that one little section so that it's harder to edit it out because it's not like so pause you know blah 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 blah. it's so yeah yeah that's my go-to word apparently (laughs) okay and um so for the for the um the question of the month we also have you say the name of your show and where to find it Uh, right so do that too and i'll put these all together in the episode so Hi, everyone. My name is Scarlett Classic. I'm the host of Classic Advice. (laughs) (laughs) My show is all about becoming a better you and giving hope. I want to be there for you guys. I'm I'm in the boat with you, so to speak. We're we're in a storm or maybe we're in sunny days and it's great. But uh, yeah, my my goal with with my podcast is just to be there for you. Perfect. The listener. And I will put all that into the episode. Thank you for contributing. I love hearing your voice on my show. Makes me giddy. (laughs) And I love it. So, I love it. There you go. I did it again. I did that for you. (laughs) Uh, The one thing I had, I had a guest on my show recently, and he said that he purposely does not edit out his crutch words, his go-to words, for a reason. He also speaks on stages a lot. And when you speak on stage in front of a live audience, there is no edit. Because it's live. So whatever comes out of your mouth, comes out of your mouth. So he Mm -hmm. knows what his go-to words are. And he then can edit in real time in a live audience setting and be be aware of what he does and do less of the things that are distracting. He said, we're all human beings. It's who we are. So whatever you do is you. So if you highly edit yourself... And it's, we say, quote, perfect in the audio podcast episode. And then you show up on the stage and you are a vocal mess because you've never been edited before. And you've never developed the ear to go, hang on, I know I say that too much. I'm going to say it a little less. Or I'm going to find a new way to say it that doesn't feel so repetitive. Right? Mm -hmm. You get to the point where you're like, I'm aware of what my hangups are and I want to get better. So instead of editing them out and pretending to be perfect, which I'm not, (laughs) I'm going to keep them in there and remind myself. So one thing he did, he did a coaching call with someone. Uh, This is Kevin Palmieri, who was on my show, future episode. He said when he was on with someone and they were talking, every time they said the word, um, it's just in conversation, not in a recording, just in a meeting like this, he would say the word pickle. So (laughs) they would be like, so when I'm on my podcast, I, um... He would say pickle. And they're like, they looked at him on the screen like, why did you say the word pickle? He said, I'm just going to say pickle every time you say the word um. So go ahead. Keep talking. So the person kept talking and he's like, pickle, 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 pickle. To the point where the person's like, I say um that much. They're like, yeah, you say it a lot. So maybe do a little less of the ums now that you're aware of it. So he tells people every time you say the word um or I love it, or so, whatever your thing is, then say something absurd like pickle after that, so that you're like, I do say that a lot. 
Right? So that's <laughs> right. There's one right there. Right? So anytime you say that word that you're like getting caught on, then put something silly next to it so that you it becomes more aware and more apparent to you that you're saying it that often. So when you're listening to your podcast as an editor and you see those ums or those whatever on your screen as you're editing, you're, for me, they're always at the beginning of my next question. I'll be, I'll say something, you'll answer. And then I say, I love it. And then I ask my next question. So I can see, I love it. Every time I, I go to my next question. So I was taking them out originally in my edits because I didn't want to say I love it so much, but I'm not getting better. So now when I'm listening to my guest talk, I'm anticipating that I'm going to say, I love it when you're done talking. So I'm going to turn left when I normally turn right. So I'm thinking about how can I say my next question without saying the word, I love it. It's a work in progress. If we'll see how it goes, but I'm thinking about, can I do it in a different way now? Because I'm aware of what I do. So don't be too worried about editing every time to be perfect because you're not getting better in the sense you need to learn how to get better by being aware of those pickles that we do in our, in our work. So there you go. A little piece of advice from Kevin Palmieri. Uh, he was a great guest on my show and that episode's coming up soon, but there you go. That's a great piece of advice. It really is. And in the beginning I was saying um and ah uh, or whatever a lot. Yeah. And and it takes practice. I still do it. I mean, it's natural to say um sometimes because you're thinking. Right. But now I try to think silently. <laughs> yeah. It's just yeah, your your brain hasn't caught up to your mouth in that moment and I do it all the time. And what gets me nervous, Scarlett, is there's people who won't press record because they're afraid of that. So they won't never, they'll never do a show. They'll never do a podcast. They'll never help somebody and they'll never have a listener in Dubai. Because they can't get past the fact that they're not perfect. None of us are perfect. Even the best podcaster in the world, Mel Robbins, not perfect. So don't worry about that. Focus on what you do and do as best you can and get better every day. That's all. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You actually led right into perfectionism, which I wanted to Let's hit go. on today. Okay. Yeah. Is it's it's. Yeah, and even you you said you mentioned Mel Robbins. I'm going to I'm going to pick on her again. <laughs> but she at the end of her I just my dogs are barking. <laughs> at the end of her episode, she always has these bloopers. I know. And I love I love them. I love them. They're so funny. And I, so that just goes to show you that even she's like one of the top rated podcasters. Mm -hmm. The, in the podcasting world, even she has, you know, imperfect moments because we're human beings. We're we're imperfect by nature. So if <laughs> there it is, <laughs> so <laughs> pickle. <laughs> pickle. <laughs> um, if if you get hung up on that, then you'll never then you'll never do it. And something that I had mentioned in my perfectionism, I think it was that episode. I don't know. They kind of all blend together now. But I had mentioned that. I didn't go to college because I was scared of not doing well, essentially not being perfect in school, of getting those straight A's and whatnot. So I never go, well, then if you never do it, then you automatically fail. So so what if you try it and, and it flops? Or so what if you try it and then you figure out that it's not for you? At least you tried. Right. Yeah. You have zero chance of being successful if you don't start. Guaranteed you're not going to be a success in anything in life if you don't start. So yeah. if you start, there's the potential you can make this something great and you can reach out and have someone listen to you by mm -hmm. simply starting. So, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's yeah, that's just you just got to do it. <laughs> if you have that little voice in your head telling you to do it, then you just got to do mm -hmm. it. What else you got on your list to chat about today? I love that you have I things to chat about. That makes me happy. <laughs> oh, I have all these moments right before I'm going to go to sleep. Oh, oh I got to talk to this. Oh, yeah. I got to Oh, this would be a good topic for today's show. <laughs> Let's put that on the list. <laughs> uh, the importance of your support group, I think, is really important. Especially if you're a solo podcaster. Or like for me, I don't have, at least right now, I don't have a whole lot of guests on my show. 
I, well, I would love it if more people came on, but on a week to week, I have like just me talking. And then on Fridays when co-hosts do come on, that's when their episodes would come out. Is a completely different day. And I think if if I didn't have Saturday mornings to look forward to with with the meetup group that you made, Dave, I think it would have been really, really difficult. Like, ten times more difficult to keep going. Mm. Because you don't have... You're, you're in a room by yourself. I mean, yeah, my husband supports me in what I'm doing. I mean, like, yeah, keep going. Or, yeah, go do it, or whatever. But he's not actually in the room. And he's your typical alpha male that's like, I don't really talk about my feelings, but I'll listen to your show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, it's, like, it's just, he's just like, it's that's not really my thing. And that's perfectly fine. It doesn't need to be his thing, right? Because we all have our strengths and our weaknesses, and he has his strengths that are, like, yeah, yeah. we're complete opposites. But it's 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 something to to have people that get you because they're a podcaster so they understand on a completely different level i put out an episode about uh grief and i really didn't know should i do this i it's it's a really heavy episode and so far all my episodes even though i may talk about something light this one there's no way you can make light of grief it's just what it is yeah and i was hesitant on putting it out and i'm drawing a blank on her name um she's got the short hair and she's doing the the duh factor sharon sharon yep sharon sharon um sharon if you're listening thank you so much for what you said because what she said really gave me the encouragement to release it because she said no I think showing that side of you will will connect with your listeners on a whole other level. Yeah, she's right. And I never thought of it that way. So it's, I think it's just really important to have your people there when you're having those moments or you just simply don't know what to do in or how to get on all the apps or how to make a website or or how do I make t-shirts? You're wearing a t-shirt right now. How do I do? Like, it just opens up so many doors for you. Yeah. When you have other people that you can ask questions to. Right. And just be there for you when you're like, oh, I'm feeling really down. Nobody's listening to me. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then that goes back again to the August question of the month, which is coming up later on about because of a podcast, whatever, fill in the blank. Because of a podcast, you now have community. You're not alone. Mm -hmm. You have JJ, you have Sharon, you got Flavian, you got all these great people in your life. Um, Had you not started a podcast, you wouldn't have met any of these people. Right? Mm -hmm. Potentially. Exactly. Like, how how would you and JJ have connected otherwise? Maybe not. And now you end off your podcast with JJ-isms at the end of every show. (laughs) And I love that you have that bond with him. And I know that he's proud to know that his words have impact on your life. So that's that's an amazing connection because of a podcast, right? And I just think that's so cool that he's inspired you, you're inspiring him, and none of that would have happened if both of you didn't start a podcast. You would have never met JJ, and JJ would no clue about you up there in Canada. He have no idea who you are, yeah. but now he thinks about you, and he talks about you, and you talk about him, and... That's a power of a podcast is bringing people together. Yeah. And it's not about competition. It's, it's all about how do we build each other up? How do we support each other? That's what I love about this. So, and then we're going to get together in September. And we finally get to meet you in person, which is crazy. I love the idea that we get to meet you in person. Um, that's going to be really fun to, to meet a whole bunch, be in a room full of people just like us who all have the same goal to support each other and build each other up. And we're all podcasters who just want to see each other thrive. We're in a safe place in that room, even though it might be intimidating to meet all these people. It's intimidating for me as an introvert. I don't know how I'm going to do in a big setting like that, but I'm among people who want the best for me in that moment. I don't have to prove myself to anybody. I can just walk in and feel like I'm home. 
And when you yeah. do this on your own, sitting in front of a microphone by yourself, it does feel really kind of distant and lonely sometimes. So anytime you can be in front of people like in our meetups, which is great on Saturdays or at an event or whatever, or talking to your listener, just light you up. It's a, it's a totally different gear, right? Talking, driving um, is a totally different gear. You just feel like you're in your right spot. I, I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, a hundred percent. I agree with everything you just right. said. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm really excited that we're going to meet. This is going to be fun. Um, we're going to bring you some some gifts for the for the kids as well so you can take them home. Aww. Oh, yeah, we're going to do all of that, right? <laughs> we, want, we want them to have you come back like an excited mom, podcasting mom. And, you know, we, we, got, we, got, some, we got some things in, in store for you guys, too. So looking forward to that. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of nervous about it. I, I realized something the other day that that I have lost more of my hearing. Like I'm I'm slowly going deaf, and I I learned this. Like I'm 36 years old. I was told this back when I was 18, and it's very it's so gradual that it's like oh well it might never happen. But then my audiologist said, well you might just wake up one morning and it'll be gone. So it's like we went to. Uh, me and my husband went on a date and we went to the movie theater and I couldn't hear what was said in the movie theater. And I was, I was, I, I mean, I got the storyline, obviously I got about 10, 20% of what was said. And I turned to him and I was like, I think I might, I think I, because the last time I went to a movie theater, I had no issues, problems whatsoever. Right now talking to you, I'm in my camper, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even in, but it's a quiet environment. It's one on one. I have you in my headphones, like cranked up, so I do fine. But how am I going to do in a setting like Pod Summit? Ah, and then Tim, I uh, Tim yeah, or Tim, Tom, Tim, Tim, yeah. Tim, Tim came on your show. Who's the? I was going to say instigator. Yeah. <laughs> the guy the guy that's doing yeah. it, the guy that's putting it all together. And he said, no, there are going to be areas where you can go off and it's quiet. And so I was like, okay, well, you know, I'll just, I'll, I guess there's no sense worrying about something that hasn't, like I might do fine. I might, but sometimes those nerves will, you know, kick in and you get all wound up in your head. And the same goes for, you know, editing, hitting that button. Right. Just stop overthinking things and getting caught up in your own head and just do it right <laughs> yeah well just do it it'll be fine <laughs> remember i need you at pod summit so i'm selfishly going to be sitting with you and with jen because again i need people in my corner to make dave, dave be friendly talk to people dave dave, dave. no don't go hiding dave where did, where did dave go Dave's gone. Where did Dave go? Yeah, that's that'll be me. So I need you to help me. All well, right. You guys be my ears and I'll be your voice. I have no problems talking. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna work together. Um okay, before we go, anything else on your list to chat about? I know we you could come back every week. We'll talk more and more, but what else? Yeah, what know. else must we I kind know. of wrap up to help a podcaster? I guess the don't stress about doing it all at once. There's so many things that go on behind the scenes. If you can, if you're new and haven't even started yet, I would recommend Batch Record before just releasing an episode. Because then you're ahead of yourself and you don't have to stress or worry about, oh, I'm sick and I lost my voice and now I can't put an episode out. Yeah. Right? Because life happens. But, I mean, I think for a lot of us, for the majority of us, I would say, unless you're Joe Rogan or Mel Robbins or something, we have our nine to five jobs. Yeah. You know, on the side, we have our, our family, we have our, <laughs> I have five dogs, you know, so <laughs> there's, there's that work life podcaster balance. So if you can, <laughs> there it is, pickle. <laughs> if you can figure out, <laughs> I'm totally going to do that now. <laughs> If you can figure out, like, 
to dedicate, okay, this is the time I'm going to dedicate to it. And once that hour is up, that's what my husband actually told me to do. He said, just edit for 20 minutes or just edit for an hour. And as soon as you're done that hour, put it aside because then you don't get overwhelmed because the house then turns into a mess because I neglected some other part of life because I got caught up in what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you can sort of just pick and choose, like, for example, my kids have gone Levi's gone to his dad's right now. Levi uh, Riley went to his grandparents, so I'm I'm kidless. Nice. I'm going to pick them up tomorrow, but they were gone for two weeks. They're going to be home for two weeks, and then they're going again for another two weeks. So, I recorded like four episodes <laughs> two days ago, just bang 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 bang. So now I'm a month ahead of myself, or a little bit over a month ahead of myself. Good. So I'm I'm picking, okay, my kids are gone. This is a great time for me to do something that I have to be alone. I have to tell them to go be quiet, you know. So to take advantage of those kind of times, figure out how you're going to do it in advance, and then you don't get so overwhelmed. And you don't have to be on all, all the apps all at once. You don't have to have a website right now. You don't have to have merch right now. Uh, yeah, just baby steps. Yeah. That's what I would recommend, yeah. Like a true podcast coach. There you go. Just like that. <laughs> right? Uh, and the one thing I, I always try to encourage people, they're like, well, Dave, I'm no expert, but here's my opinion. If you've done the thing to somebody who hasn't, you are an expert. So, because you're doing something that someone else admires. They look at you, Scarlett, and go, I don't think I could ever do that. I don't think I could ever be like Scarlett. You had the same feeling about other people, and now you're doing the thing. So you are now in that same spot where you admired someone else for doing the thing. There are people who are coming to you, admiring you for doing the thing. And to them, you're the expert. So don't rob them of that experience. Mel Robbins loves when people say, you're a great podcaster, I really love your stuff. But I'm sure there was a day when she was like, I don't even know if I want to do this. True. So accept the fact that people do admire what you do and don't discount it as well. Oh, well, no, people do find value in what you do and you need to own that because that's going to keep you coming back. People really do love your podcast and they really do love how you do your podcast because it's all scarlet. There's nothing fake about you. And when I press play on your episode, I know exactly what I'm going to get because it's you. And you're the best example of you there's ever been. So keep being you and keep doing your show. Because I can't do your show. There's no way I can do your show. So you're the best person to do your show. And we need more of it. So I'm cheering you on if you haven't caught on by now. I am cheering you on because I'm a big fan. Oh, I, I know you are because like I, <laughs> I when I was picking my times of when to release my episode... My husband works nights to, um, on a rotation basis, and I typically get up quite early. So I was <laughs> pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I, love it. I, uh, I, uh, yeah. So I, uh, what was I going to say? You, you, oh, releasing yeah. in the middle of the night. So I picked one a.m. Wednesday's one a.m. because that way, if you are an early riser like me, my episode is there. Right at the beginning of a Wednesday, every Wednesday. <laughs> and I don't remember where I was going with that. But yeah, that's what I had. That's when I choose to pick my. So that's when I'm listening. I'm, that's my first mm -hmm. break. Oh, that's. That's my yes, first break. That's yeah. what I was getting to. So every time I go to work, I start work at 830 and I will pull up my little podcast or app thingy yeah. generally before I even start work. And I see that I always have one listen. And it's you. I know it's you because uh, nobody else is awake yet. <laughs> uh, there you go. So that's kind of cool, right? To know that's happening. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's exciting. And then uh, again, like I like that you called out your audience. I did that for one of my other shows and I had a response from a listener. It's so cool. Yeah, you're German. Right? You're German so guy. <laughs> keep doing that. Don't just do it once. Keep doing that. And maybe call out a specific, one specific person that you seem to see. And, yeah. you know, if you, especially if you don't know where they are, I keep seeing this town or the city or this location, just mention them once in a while and invite them to reach out to you. The moment they do, you're going to be running around the house 
dancing <laughs> and happy and excited because someone actually did the thing. So yeah. just keep putting it out there. Good things are going to happen for you. Yeah. I love it. I just did it. I love it. See, there you go. Pickle. <laughs> Pickle. <laughs> As we close off, Scarlett, uh, send everybody to your podcast, everybody to your show, your website. We can also support you with your buy me a coffee, which is a good thing. We want to do that. Yeah. Take us to where you want to send us. Where do we go? The easiest place is just my website. It's classicchronicles.ca. And my show is on there. I actually, uh, just over half of my audience listens on my website. Interesting. Yeah. I'm on Spotify. I should be on all the apps that I could get on, just under Classic Advice. You can find me that way as well. Good. Yeah. Excellent. It's a great podcast. Everyone needs to go listen. And if you want to be a guest on Scarlett's podcast, Jennifer, if you want to be a guest, <laughs> make sure that you uh, reach out to, to Scarlett. She would love to have you as a guest on her show. You will be treated like a king or queen or whatever royalty status you are, because Scarlett <laughs> is that kind of person. Scarlett, thank you so much for being part of this community on Meetup. Uh, you listening to the show. I'm so glad that something sparked you to start through listening to the podcast because we need more of you in the world. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm listening. I'm watching. I'm following you. Okay. And we're going to see you in September. So thank you so much. So excited. Well, thank you so much for happening and no pressure, Jen. <laughs> yes. Much pressure. pressure. But no yeah. pressure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Thank Thanks you. For it. <laughs> Hey, thanks for being here at the end of the podcast. This is just for you because you're still here. Thank you for your support for the podcast. Thank you for listening to the show, sharing it with other podcasters. Maybe somebody you know is thinking about starting a show. I would love for you to say, hey, wait, wait. You should go check out the Out of Podcast series. It's got everything you need. And Dave, as well, is included. You get one free Dave with the How to Podcast series. I'm included with it, so kind of a bundle thing you get uh to that point mentioning it in the podcast definitely want to remind you here at the end there's a link in the show notes starting it this summer i'm working through this it's a way for us you and i to have a conversation around podcasting i want to help you and i've been doing this for people who listen to the show now for almost three years and i just haven't been promoting it as a thing so i'm now promoting it as a thing. I want to spend time with you. Uh, I kind of would love to hear your voice. We're going to jump on Zoom together. We're going to talk about your podcast. You get time one-on-one -on -one with me, 30 minutes in my calendar, completely free, no strings attached. You don't have to buy a blender or a vacuum or none of that stuff. No, no, no. It's just us. I just like to help you. And whether you're thinking about starting a show or you have a show, you want to grow your show, Whatever it is, I'd love to meet you, talk about your struggles, your questions, work together. And I am eventually developing this into more of a coaching program for podcasters. But I'm starting with my best friends first, for free. So if you're interested, you listen to the show, and I appreciate you. Link in the show notes. Let's get together and talk podcasting, okay? You and me. Let's talk. Let's talk soon. See you. Thanks.